Welcome back to another video here on String Blocks. In today's video, we are going to be going over working codes for Roblox Panic 2022 update. So, we hope you're excited for this video, and if you are, make sure to slap the like button on this video, and possibly even comment. But before we start, we ask for you to click that red subscribe button and turn on post notifications. We post content just like this very video, and it would be a shame if you missed out on any of it. Anyways, with all that being said, let's jump right into today's video. It might actually shock you. Welcome to today's video. The topic game today will be about the Roblox game Panic. Now, if you haven't heard about this game, you must be living under a rock, because this game is at its peak. Panic Room is a Roblox horror-ish game that you can play with your friends. You can jump into a lobby with several other players and one person will get to become the killer robot. As a normal player, your task is to collect items and scan them before the robot catches you. Every time the robot hits you, you'll drop an item and have to find it again in the shop. You have to be quick. The game has players placed inside a Rob Mart as they must find three different items for the three scanners scattered around the map. The players also have to evade Happy as they will chase them around the store when seen within their range. If the player gets hit by Happy, they will lose a heart and the item, but will be given a temporary invincibility and speed boost. And if all three hearts are lost, the player will die. After completing all three scanners, the player must find a trapdoor next to the escape, the Rob Mart. It's a survival horror Roblox title that pits players against one another as a team of survivors and a deadly killer robot. Search the aisles and shelves of Rob Mart for items and bring them to the three scanners throughout the store. Once you do this, escape through a trapdoor before the robot gets you. Using codes in Panic will give you rewards like free coins. All codes have an expiration date, so be sure to keep an eye on them and use the codes once they are released. We've compiled a list of all the available codes so you can earn gear and more in Panic. Players can also push each other by using Shift on PC, and it will cause other players to be pushed towards or away from Happy. Here's how to get your freebies in Panic. Hit the shop button on the left side menu, enter the code in the bottom box, hit redeem and enjoy your rewards. Now, here are the codes. TY35K likes. Redeem this code for 350 coins. Now, that may not sound like a lot, but for this game, every coin counts. Just like the next codes to follow. 100k likes. Redeem for 150 coins. Now, just like the last one, it doesn't sound like a lot, but over time, it does add up, and it makes sense as to why you should redeem them. You know what I mean? TY20k likes. Redeem for 350 coins. And for celebrating 20,000 likes on the game, we are celebrating by getting 350 coins. Isn't that an awesome deal? 6k members. Redeem for 150 coins. This game sure does like to celebrate because for hitting 6,000 members, this game gave us 150 coins. And you really can't beat that, especially when you add it to all the other coins you've earned from the previous codes. TY10K likes, redeemed for 350 coins. 10,000 likes is a lot, and for the people we have to be thankful for these codes exist because they help with our progress in the game. How can I obtain new codes for the game? We would like to make it clear that we do not create new codes. Rather, the release of new codes is entirely at the discretion of the game's developers. In most cases, new codes will be made available whenever there is a significant update, event, festival, or achievement of a milestone. For instance, many Roblox game developers publish new codes each time their game reaches a new milestone in terms of the number of likes or visits. It's highly recommended that players follow the game's official social media pages on Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Discord in order to stay up to date on the latest code changes. The vast majority of Roblox game content creators start their own Roblox group, Discord server, or Twitter page. You will frequently come across the game's pages on social media platforms such as Instagram or Facebook. Well, after all this, we need to warn you about something, and that's people exploiting and cheating in the game. Exploiting or cheating is unfair to all Roblox players and creates a poor experience for everyone. These actions are a violation of the Roblox Terms of Use and will lead to the deletion of an account. Many exploits are scams to get you to download malware such as a keylogger or other phishing program that can be used to steal personal information you have on your computer, including your Roblox password. Don't exploit, it's not worth it. If you see someone asking for passwords or other personal information, posting off-site links, attempting to exploit or sharing exploits, please use the report abuse buttons located throughout the site. 
and in every experience menu. Reporting allows the moderators to remove the content and moderate the accounts for these rule violations. So with that, an exploit is the use of glitches and software vulnerabilities in Roblox by a player to alter the game or gameplay for an unfair advantage. Exploits have been defined as a form of cheating. Some exploits are in the form of programs or injectable DLL files, which explicitly break the Roblox TOS and can lead to a permanent ban by Roblox. An example would be the popular hacking GUIs in which many exploiting tools are put in the form of a GUI for the player. Other exploits take advantage of flaws in the game scripts or building. A good example would be the infamous no-clip glitch in Jailbreak, where players can take advantage of the crawl script and thin walls to get into otherwise inaccessible areas. Such exploits are not bannable by Roblox, but players caught doing this can be banned by a developer if the game has moderation infrastructure, like an admin script. Many users believe that the correct term for programs that change Roblox for a player's advantage is exploiting, and others believe hacking is the correct term. However, hacking is the act of gaining unauthorized access to a system while exploiting a vulnerability to do the same. So now that all of that is out of the way, let's talk about something. If you guys are enjoying these videos, why not subscribe to our channel? Also, if any of these codes were helpful to you, you should hit the like button and tell us in the comments below what code was helpful and what you used it for. Also, let us know what your favorite things are about this game. What do you love about it? What do you hate about it? And what do you hope they would change? We love to hear what you guys think about all these games that we cover. Also, let us know what kind of games you want us to cover and what games you'd want to hear codes for. As always, we really appreciate your feedback, so don't shy away from sharing your comments in the comment section below. What did you guys think about today's video? Let us know in the comment section below. Well anyways, thank you all so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe. Also, watch the two videos on screen because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next Roblox video. Goodbye.